What's up, JFusion fans, and welcome back to another Superhero Time Review. And boy, do we have another intense week of episodes for Kamen Rider Saber and Kira Major. So, uh, before we begin, I would like to remind everyone that these videos are not intended for viewers under the age of 13. And some spoilers ahead, just in case. So, with that said, let's go. Okay, Kamen Rider Saber. So, basically what happens today is another uh, Kento versus Daichi match, you know. Uh, we see again Kamen Rider Espada against Kamen Rider uh, Caliber. So, uh, you know, it's a question to see who wins this time. And uh, if you may remember my previous vid video talking about Kento, well... Today's episode may answer why he's not getting the same power-up as Toma and Mintaro. So, uh, if you guys get to, uh, if you get, if you get the chance to watch uh, the episode, you will, uh, you will now understand why. But uh, I think there still may be more uh, in store for Kento in the near future. Because another interesting point about uh, today's uh, Kamen Rider Saber episode. So, as I've mentioned last week, so Tassel seems to you know, evolve more as a character. Now, instead of just being the narrator outright, uh, we are going to see him uh, outside of this uh you know, book world, you know, wherever he is, wherever he lives. And at the end of the previous episode, we also see him receiving some sort of guest. And today, we see who that guest is. So, it is revealed that this guest that, uh, you know, Tassel is receiving is actually the hooded figure from Toma's trip to Avalon in order to obtain the King of Excalibur Wonder Ride book. And of course, King Excalibur, the power-up. So, we are going to see this character play a major role as well, especially in the future. And along that, Tassel as well. So, it would be interesting to see how these two new characters play into the story. And, you know... Whether they are allies, uh, villains, or outright neutral characters, we don't know yet. But it's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, again, in future episodes, as I've said. But yeah, today's highlight is uh, Kento. Now, uh, probably, you know, not, not much of a subplot, but what happened last week, right? So, Nintaro kind of took a blow from... Uh, he took a blow from Caliber, so leaving him critically injured. So it almost cost him his life, but uh, he does power through and even tries to fight despite his heavy injuries. And we see in this episode that Bintaro is the best bro. <laughs> He's your best bro this season. So uh, if you guys are fans of Bintaro, definitely thumbs up for him. Uh, and if you don't like Nintaro just yet, well, it's definitely a good chance for you to like it. Now, his character definitely brings balance, you know, to uh, characters like Toma and uh, Kento who are more on the rough side. But, uh, you know, uh, Nintaro's more calm, collected side can actually be balanced with a lot of guts and bravery and definitely worth the watch. So, uh, stay tuned for that. So, if you guys get to see the latest episode for Saber, boy, is it going to be big. And, uh, yes, uh, we are getting the new power-up for Saber, the Dragonic Knight, next week. So, stay tuned for that as well. So, how is he going to obtain that? We have to watch out next week. So, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, okay, so, for Kina Major... 
Uh, this is kind of like, again, a two-parter continuing from the previous episode. I guess uh, Saber is also kind of a two-parter this week. But um, yeah, so continuing from uh, the last episode, uh, we do uh, see this uh, new plan from uh, Yodonna. So she plans to like to make this uh, Yodonheim plant, um, what, uh, they call it the Yodon Ivy. So her plan is to, uh, is to, um, how do you say, uh, to raise this gigantic seed of evil. And once it blooms, will basically will provide enough energy uh, to open the gates of Yodonheim and then, uh, you know, bring forth to this world the actual villain of the show so uh you know how it happened last week is very interesting and again uh so we do see sayo getting uh, basically being hostage you know she is unable to fight and what basically happens today is some sort of a rescue mission so uh, you know, uh, uh some rangers uh go in and rescue Sayo while the others try to hold off an attack from uh like four giants basically so three Yodon beasts and then Smog Joki so uh we have that dilemma as well and uh, Garza had his plan to destroy Oradin from last episode and how uh, this uh, issue gets solved, so this is also going to be seen in this week's episode, so do watch out for it. And, well, we do see all the current uh, mechs of the Kira Major work together, so we have Kira Jin, you have um, the King Express, Zabiun, we also have uh, uh, Machine Dorija, and now we also have the Grateful Phoenix, and uh, thankfully, we are not seeing a cluster robo just yet. And I hope this stays the same for, uh, the, for the rest of the show. Because honestly, a cluster robo is n- something that we don't need at all at this point. Like, I've seen a lot of cluster robos and just fail miserably at what they do. Like, oh my god. I don't want another cluster robo. Like, all these robos, like, again, we do have four mechs uh, working together and uh, how they uh, destroy the Yodon Ivy later on. So, uh, again, it did take a lot of creativity. You know, each and every Kira Major had their uh, strong points shown in this episode, but I would say uh, Sayo... Juru and Tametomo, like, take the stage today, I would say. So, of course, uh, like, you see from the previous episode, Sayo being a badass. uh, Like, she she was willing to sacrifice her life. uh, Even though she was unable to transform, she still chose to fight. Uh, Juru and his usual creativity, that saves the day. And... Uh, couple that with Tametomo's, uh, you know, like critical thinking, like he is the strategist of the team in a way, you know, put that all together. Uh, of course, combine that with the, the abilities of, you know, uh, Shiguru, Sena, and the power of uh, Takamichi. So we do see uh, the Kira Majors actually work as a team despite not being in the same place all at once so their coordinated tactics saved the day basically so yeah really great episode uh so well maybe not as impressive as the previous episode because it is more of a folk character focus but it is interesting to see uh the team like work together while they're not really together, you know, absolutely amazing. So for today's uh, Kamen Rider Saber, I will give it a 4.5 out of 5. And uh, the same thing with the uh, Kira Major, so it's 4.5 out of 5. Now, 
uh, again, uh, Kamen Rider Saber is starting to pick up with the story, but uh, definitely uh, waiting for an episode to make me go like, wow. But nonetheless, today's episode is still good. Uh, as for Kira Major, uh, I guess I'm s- like, I can't get over the previous episode to be completely honest. That's why uh, today is just slightly lower, but still very good. So, yeah. That's going to be it for this week's Superhero Time Review. As always, please do leave a like, comment, share this video, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from GE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you on the next Superhero Time Review. Bye!